Hi everyone, this is Catherine. Well, from the screen, you guys probably know what I want to talk to you guys about. This is something new I discovered、um, this month, and then it has helped me a lot. And I think I finally found something that really works、uh, for my note taking and my work and my school. So I feel I want to come here and share with you guys. It is the disk bound、um, system from、um, I think Office Depot. It's called Tool. And then you know, disk bound planner has been around for a long time. I seen them、um, at Michaels for the Happy Planners, but I never really want to get into it because I don't like to. I have a lot of ring planners for plannings, so I don't find a need of getting into disk bound. Until recently, I start school and then I'm doing some study materials, and then I'm urging for something that's letter size I can fit all my notes and school materials, and then.、Um, I have been using this、um, three ring binder, but the problem of this three ring binder is it's really bulky. And then when you write, when you take notes and write, you still have issues of interfere with this、um, rings, you know. And then it's really hard to carry around, I think. So I am not a big fan of using it, even though I have been using it for the you know past、um, few weeks. But、um, I just don't think it's right. Until one day I was doing research and I'm at school、uh, work, and I found someone using this、um, to take notes. And I will, I, st I start looking into. It, I'm like, hey, what is that? You know. And then he got a、um, an arc system from Staples. And then I feel that this is something. You know, I kind of know it exists, but I never explore, and I want to give it a try. So I went online, and then I see some Staples had.、Um, Office Depot has this、um, tool system that、um, it's very similar to Arc, and then they are having a 32 year anniversary sale. So I take advantage of it, and then, well, I didn't buy this at the first run. I just bought this、uh, basic system.、Um, it comes with a very nice packaging, I think, at least. It doesn't have any packaging, but it has this very nice uh, metallic um, metal looking paper、um, go around it and explain that it's a.、Um, It's a tool, and then、um, the brand, and then it contains a、uh, sixty pages of roll paper, and that's all I did at first purchase around that. I just bought this with sixty pages, and then I say I'm gonna give it a try, and then、um, when you open, well,、um, this is something I already have, I have right now, but when you open.、Um, On this side,、um, it has two pockets right here and a full-length pocket at the back. And then、um, at the back, it has nothing. Well, it, ha it has an elasticated pen loop that I can actually put my Coletto in there. And then when you open it, it comes with very nice um, three um, explanation sheets on teaching you how to use this system, how you'll be able to customize the informations that you need. And it comes with eleven、uh, one-inch disc, and then、um, there are just some tips of how to use it, and then how it looks like, how you remove papers, and then、um, you know,、um, explaining all the product lines. So they come with a junior size and letter size. So junior size is like A5 or half letter size, and this is a letter size. So it comes with、uh, line paper, grid paper, note taking, project paper, dot paper. And then it comes with different size of discs, one inch, one and a half, two inch. It comes with dividers,、um, the envelopes or secretarial pocket, the note page, the flags, the rule rulers, and the hole punch. So I'm gonna explain to you what I got and share with you my thoughts for the past、um, two weeks I've been using it. First of all, the paper quality is really good.、Um, I did a little homework. I think it says it's 90 GSM. I am not sure, but the paper quality is really good. I'm using、um, Pilot G2.5 or 0.7 ink on it, and then there's no bleed through whatsoever. The paper quality is really good. And then、um, I think I finally found something. I tried to use A5 to do、um, note taking for work, but I don't find that convenient because I do a lot of、um, stand up meetings. Basically, it's a, a group of people just standing up、um, in a conference room or a, a destination place, and then we're just taking notes. So I don't see that my、um, A5 notebook really works. I have a Julio, I have Vendor Spec. I tried both; they're just too floppy for me when you are doing stand up. 
meetings, you don't have a desk, you cannot write nicely. But then with this, because the, the cover is very hard, it's a leather, and then um, the spine here, it's, um, I think it's a very thick plastic. I am, can you hear it? Yeah. So it's thick plastic cover with um, leather. And then um, I just feel that it is so hardy and look professional. And then when I'm taking notes, what I love the most is I can do this. Look, you can completely flip it over, you know. You can just take notes this way without any ring interfering. Sorry, I have a lot of paper in here right now. With a, a, without interfering your writings. And that's how I love about this. And um, yeah. So after two weeks of use, I really enjoyed it. And then um, since um, Office Depot has some sale going on for 32% off, and, and then for 32% off, $32 spending for 32% off and some clearance. So I took advantage and then um, I went ahead and bought the hole punch. And this is a tool hole punch. I did some homework before I purchased it because I know that uh, Lavender brand and Arc brand are pretty popular and also Happy Planner is pretty popular for the disc bound systems. So then the problem for Happy Planner is that the Michaels around me only sell, I think it's a nine ring, nine punch instead of 11, which is for the letter size. So you have to do two punch for one paper, which I don't like. For Lavender, um, they're a bit pricey for the full size. They do have the on the go one uh, from um, Amazon that you can see. But then because that's a travel size, so you do need to press three times. So I will insert pictures or something links below if you guys are interested in the travel friendly one. That you need to do three punch for one piece of paper. I don't want any of those because this is for work, this is for school, this is for study, this is for note taking. Um, I don't need it on the go. So I took advantage and bought this tool one from um, from Office Depot as well. Oh, by the way, I also did some study. People say that the arc system, when you punch out the hole, is a little, a little bit smaller. So it's really hard to flip compared with Avenger, uh, Lavender. And this is a tool one. So the hole size is pretty decent. You can still flip easily. That's what I love about it. So I went ahead and bought this and it, I purposely saved the, the box. I don't know why, but I did. I saved the box to show you guys that I just bought this. And then when it comes, it's already preset for 11 a hole. It can go up to 12. And then of course you can shrink it to um, junior size or A5 size for nine to six, seven holes, whatever it works for you guys. Apparently all the hole size distance is the same. So however many holes you want to punch, you can do that by yourself. So I went ahead and bought this. Um, and then I also bought um, this um, no paper, which is um, this one right here. This is a task pad. So it comes with three thick pad of 50 each, so 150 sheets. And then, um, you know, it's like that. So you can tear it out. And then I put a couple in the front of my notes right here, see? So I can t do some quick jot down of notes if I need to do something really quick as a checklist. So that's what I bought. I also bought this um, here, this uh, pocket dividers. It comes with two pocket dividers of gray and then you know at first I was thinking to get this just because um, you know I have some printouts papers notes that I don't have uh, punches with me all the time that I can stick in here in the pocket so it's I'm not losing it but earlier you can see that when I'm moving my folder is flipping out because for some reason this pocket isn't isn't very friendly in my opinion it's really hard look it's really hard to uh, you just need to make it very precise in order to go in. So I think it might be a design flaw. Oh, anyway, I'm not sure. So I'm not very happy with this purchase. Um, I don't know if um, the toll brand or Office Depot, they realize this issue. I don't know if it's a flaw of this one or it purposely designed it very snug so the paper won't slide away. 
I'm not sure, but I don't, I'm not a big fan of this. I did see online someone purchased a regular pocket dividers for the three ring binder and then they just punch their holes into um, that fits um, the disc bound planner. So that's another thing I purchased. Um, what else did I bought other than this two? So I shared with you guys the dividers, the no papers. Oh, I also bought this um, grid paper. Planner girls, you know, we all love grid papers. So I also bought 50 sheet of graphic paper. I really enjoy the quality of it. Let me see if there is any information about the thickness. Nope. But I think internet says 90 GSM. So I bought that. I also bought, oopsie, accident. I also bought um, this, the color dividers. I was thinking that um, later on I might have different categories that I want to categorize. So I just took, basically I took advantage of the sale and purchased some of the things I think I might need for my discount planner. So that's the items I purchased that I want to share with you guys. And then, okay, so talk about the things I am not, well, I don't think I don't like this. I do. But there are a few things that kind of bother me. Um, one thing is, of course, I talked to you guys about this divider. The second thing is that um, I don't know. I, I, w I really want to see if it's the tool system or every system is like that. You know, the good thing about this is um, the good thing about this and the, the reason I want to get to it, not only because it's really easy for note taking, but also I'm studying. So there are some printout information I really want to keep in here instead of rewriting it. And then so those are my printout informations and then I can make a notes in the front of it. And then I can also add or remove pages as I need it per my study requirement. However, I do notice that um, every time when I remove the paper, it's, um, it's easy to remove, yes. But I also find that the edge frayed easily too. I don't know if that makes sense. Okay, let me show you. See if I have examples here to show you guys. Okay. So this is a, a, a blank paper I punched. And, um, you know, I remove about two times, but I don't know if you guys can tell that the edge of this has start fraying a little bit. You know, like it's it kind of wear out a little bit. It's different than the ring system because with the rings, you just open up the ring and you take out your paper. For this, you pop it back and then you pop it in. So basically the disc has a depth. So you pop it in like that. And then if you don't want this paper, you can remove it like that. But I just don't know how many times I can do this add and remove um, thing without when, you know, how many times I can do it so that the paper won't fray like this. Of course, this is a regular print paper. It's not like 90 GSM papers that it's using in the notes right here. But um, yeah, so there's a, there's a, I don't know if you can tell because it's dark here, but there's a, you know, a little depth here in here so that the paper stuck in, the paper stuck in, and then it's, e and then you can add and remove. So I think that's one of the things that you need to be mindful when you're doing ed paper adding and remove. And that's what I'm telling myself whenever I'm doing things, I need to be mindful about it. And then, um, oh, second thing, I think I forgot to talk about another little thing I bought is this ruler. And, um, this ruler, it's like, you know, any vent, uh, file facts and different things that you have this today ruler. But the thing about this ruler, it's the same thing that every time when I'm at it, removing it and putting it back, I feel like I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to break this anytime because this is not a very soft plastic. I mean, it's, it's, it's flexible. But then every time when I'm removing it, this edge is almost giving up on me. So I have been mindful about it, of using it too. I just don't know, um, you know, cause um, Lavender system is way more expensive than this tool system. And I just don't know that if there's a difference on this discs. I mean, if you guys have used Arc, Lavender and Tool, and then if you can tell me 
if, you know, if it's normal or I just need to be very careful or there is a difference in the quality of rings, please tell me and leave it, the information down below for me. You know, I really wish that there is a type of disc that, you know, some of the disc that you can, um, you can do a little bent and then you can put it back like that. You know, the bending ones, um, like your assembly things. I really wish that whenever I want to change out the disc, I can just bend this and open it up so it become half circle and then I can remove the paper and add new things in without removing the whole thing because I'm afraid of do so that I'm gonna kill all my paper edge and then you know with all this hard work and writing notes I'm gonna lose them and or I don't want to rewrite them so um, yeah but other than that I'm very happy with this no um, this notebook that I'm using for note taking and studying um, I think I saw some videos, not a lot, but there are some people talking about uh, the Dispound Planner as a study tools or note-taking tools, and I really think that it does work. Um, and then I, I don't think, I don't see a lot of people talking about this tool um, from Office Depot. Again, Dispound is so new to me, and that's why, you know, when Office Depot is sell, I just took advantage of it, and then, um, yeah, I do enjoy it. And, um, you know, let me know what you guys think about this um, system. I mean, for the person who has ARC, who has Lavender, and who has uh, Tool, let me know what you like the most. I mean, I do see some people saying Lavender is really great, but I went online and see the, the design. It's almost identical. I don't know what's the difference. Um, the quality, um, I don't know. So if you can let me know. Uh, down the road. I do went on lavenger.com to see that they have 25% off for their soft folio, their uh, soft folio 2.0 that um, it's a leather sleeve that can um, store and house this um, this bunk planners. At this moment, I'm not planning to get it. I mean, I'm a little tempted because um, before I discover tool, or this discount, I have been thinking about custom made a, um, a, a letter size from vendor spec for my note taking uh, the portfolio pad. But then um, now I discover this, I really in love with this system. I don't think I will, you know, want anything else for my work and my note taking. But then I have been thinking maybe I should give um, Lavender Junior Size a try as a planner. I'm not sure. I mean, I love my uh, ring planner collections that I have right now. And I love my personal and pocket size. So A5 is a size that I'm not sure about. I will think about it. But at this moment, anyways, enough rambling. Well, I just want to let you guys know about this tool. I don't see a lot of people talking about it, but I really love it. And um. I hope you enjoyed it and um, I'm very new to this so if you guys have any comments suggestions leave it down below if you have any questions feel free to give me a shout out thank you bye